Hi there, this is Carolina. One of my friends asked me to help her come up with a drill so that she could practice breaks and paddles and get better at them and get faster at them. And um, so that's what I'm going to do. This is one pattern. There are many, many, many patterns. But the, first I'll show it to you and then I'll break it down for you. spot where you're shoulder hooping. So the sweet spot where you're shoulder hooping is below the deltoid and above the bicep. It is right here, right at the small part of your arm where it kind of comes together before it gets big again. Um, if you, so, and that is for both arms. And if you follow that straight across, then the sweet spot for your chest is going to be right on your heart. So I want you to think about putting your hands on your heart so that they, so it's like you're saying the Pledge of Allegiance from both sides. So as the hoop is on my sweet spots of my arms, right here, I'm going to close it and as it closes, my free hand is going to come to my heart like I'm saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Stop. You know better than that. So it's going to close like I'm saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm going to put my wrist right on that sweet spot and I'm going to aim for that wrist every single time that I close. I'm going to keep my hand against my heart so that it doesn't drift away and that means that I'm closing my hoop to the same place every single time. So here I am on my sweet spot, hand on my heart, close to the wrist, let it go and as soon as it's gone the hand that has just pushed the hoop is going to get out of the way and then it's going to come up and sit in that place. And as I hold the hoop I'm going to close it to the wrist and do the same thing from the other side. So it's close to the wrist, get the other wrist in. Close to the wrist, get the other wrist in. Wrist, wrist. Notice how I'm closing to the same place on each wrist like I'm Wonder Woman every time. So close, 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 close. So if you start to lose your plane, that can mean several things. It can mean that you've let your hand drift away from your chest. It can mean that you have um, uh, not held on to the hoop all the way until it hit your sweet spot on your wrist. So I want to close all the way to my wrist. Close, close, oops, close, close. So now that you know those basic things, that you're going for this sweet spot, this sweet spot, this sweet spot. If your hoop is not landing on this sweet spot, then you want to try to get it to land there next time. And there's a few ways that you can do that. After you close to your wrist and you grab it, you can pull it so that it touches the sweet spot on the opposite arm. See? Oops. See? And if it ends up down here, replace it. There is no rush to this. You want to be able to do it slow. You can speed it up later. The main thing is you want to keep it flat, touching here, 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 all the way across. So the next thing that can help is to think of doing this to a timing. I love if I have drumming music, but my computer is a piece of crap and it's not letting me play anything right now. So, but if you have access to drumming a beat, a nice slow beat, do it to a beat. So we are going to do it to a count like we have a beat. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Close two, three. Close two, three. Close two, three. Close two, three. So this is actually a four because the close or one is a number. One, two, three.
One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Another thing that's cool to do is to do it while doing a leg lift. First, let me get my pattern. One, two. Rotten beast. <laughs> 